Minecraft just released a bunch of new information on their next big update. This was revealed today at their Minecraft live event. For you, it was yesterday. I'm sorry. I was busy. I had a live stream. I don't really do this much, but I really wanted to go over this update because there's a lot of stuff in here and it is something that the community has been asking for forever. I remember thinking this when I was just playing Minecraft instead of making videos. The update revealed was the new caves and cliffs update, which overhauls, you guessed it, the caves and the mountains biome. The caves aren't really a biome. They're kind of like everywhere, but they have needed an update for a long time. I kind of hope they do have the smaller caves, just not as much. I would like really big caves most of the time. And if you're looking for that too, then this is, this is perfect because they have a lot of it. A lot of big, very bold caves, but a lot of good caves. The first biome change I want to go over is the lush caves. Now these are caves that are covered in vines and they have new food called glowberries. You can find the lush caves right under a new tree that is added to the game called the azalea tree. They didn't go into any specifics on where you could find the azalea tree, but they could be in most biomes. So I think it would be cool to just have them be everywhere. The glowberries that I was talking about, they grow from the vines in the caves and they are a light source when you hold them in your hand, I imagine. I don't know how else they would be a light source. And they're also food because they are berries. Also in the lush caves, we have new moss blocks and just a whole bunch of atmosphere that I want to I want to be in. I want to be in the cave right now. Also in the lush caves that wasn't really shown off too much is a new stair type block. It's going to be used a lot for parkour. I can see uh, basically when you stand on it, you have a certain amount of time. And if you don't move, then you will fall through it. I think this is awesome. There's nothing like this in Minecraft currently. Let's see more stuff like this. Next coming to caves is the dripstone caves. These boys, this is crazy. They're slightly bigger caves with stalagmites and stalactites. The lagmites are on the ceiling and they will drip water. You can collect the water in a cauldron. The stalagmites can fall from the ceiling and hit the player or any mob and do damage. Stalagmites are on the floor and they're like spike traps basically. Yes. So if you fall or push any mob onto those, they will take damage and most likely die depending on the height. On top of that, we have the entire overhaul of the cave system. Yes and there are some huge caves in here. They're a lot more open, they have pillars, they actually look like caves. It's crazy, not like they didn't before, but these are like, these are caves. These caves will have waterfalls, and some caves will even fill with water, and you'll have to use a boat to get across, which I think is cool. Like I said, you won't, if you're in a cave, you might not, you might not need water, so I don't know how the whole cauldron thing works out, but whatever. The last new information that was revealed about caves is called the Amethyst Geos, which are little sections of caves. I don't know how big they'll be necessarily, but they have new Amethyst blocks and Amethyst crystals. It could be a very rewarding room. I don't know if they'll be very common, and I don't really know what the Amethyst is used for, but it's a new item, new material. Let's get it. And there are other materials, new materials and items that we're going to be talking about later. And we can't forget the cliffs. What about the cliffs? They, they really didn't tell us down that much about the cliffs. I'm hoping that they give us more information. This definitely wasn't everything that's going to be in the update, but it's a good chunk. I'm happy with what we got. The new mountains are big, much more big and intimidating and scary. So don't fall off of them or else, you know, you could die. You could die. And in these cliff biomes, we have a new mob. The goats, the goats, they, they're good. They are good. I like them. They can jump really high and they can even maneuver around like other caves, oh. dips in the cliffs. I think that's awesome. No other mob can do that. There's been mods for jumping mobs, jumping over things or attempting to jump. But now we got some AI in the game that can literally jump more than one block. And it looks like from the footage that the goats are aggressive only sometimes to players and other mobs. I, goats are weird in real life, so it would make sense if they're just like, oh, maybe they want to hit you, maybe they don't. But it's kind of dangerous. You're up on top of a really tall mountain. The goat could kick you off. Like I said, a little bit more intimidating. I like this. There's a little bit of risk makes things interesting. And that is not the last mob that we're going to be talking about today. But first, I want to go over new items, specifically three new items that they went into a little bit of detail on. They showed off some footage of the new telescope. You can see things from a distance and what you use to make it is copper ore, which is another new ore in the game and the only other material that they revealed. I imagine you can smelt the copper. You can also make blocks out of the copper. They showed this cool time lapse of it raining on the copper roof and then it turned bluish green, which is nice. A nice little detail because it happens in real life. You know, copper pipes, they're all green and gross and everyone's confused, but it happens. And now it's in Minecraft. The lightning rod, which is an item that took me by surprise. 
I didn't really expect a lightning rod, but it's kind of useful. You can put it on top of your house. It protects your house from lightning. If lightning strikes near it, it'll hit the rod instead of, you know, burning your house down, which I can't say I've had much problems with, but it could still be used as decoratory. And also if you build a castle, you know, lightning striking the castle at the peak, kind of epic. I like that. That's yeah, it's cool. And probably my favorite item reveal in this update, the bundle which lets you collect 64 of any item and put them together. So you don't need to waste slots on two things of redstone. You don't gotta make any sacrifices anymore as long as you brought the bundle with you. I think this is really useful for organization. And also when you hover over it, a tooltip pops up. You can see exactly what's in it. Very useful. Mojang, hey, good job. That, that, that's game development. On to the new mobs. Other than the goat, we have the warden, which is probably the scariest thing they've added since the Enderman. Yeah, I thought the Enderman was scary. This thing is terrifying. He's a big blue angry man and he gets angry when he hears you move or when you step on his little crop. I don't know what it is. It's like some blue moss. He will know exactly where you are. If you step on that, maybe it's what it looked like. I don't know why else he would have his own blocks. But like I said, he can hear you running but you can also throw items and distract him, which is nice. He's very creepy. He has no eyes. That's why he uses sound. And he has a beating heart in an open chest cavity. I'm not making this up. It's actually in the game or it's going to be. And he also does a lot of damage. I I'm thinking like iron golem level damage. In the clip shown, the developer had full netherite on and he still died. I don't know if he, he died on purpose. He it didn't look like he was doing very good. I mean, he was no MLG, but a lot of damage. The new warden block type can also be used with the redstone contraptions, which is super awesome. More creator tools, more creativity in Minecraft. Good stuff all around. I can't even pronounce this next one. Axolia. Axolid? What? Axolid? I need to, I need to put this into Google. Okay, I figured it out. It's called the Axolotl, and it's basically a lizard. They swim around in the lush cave biome. They're very cute. They have multiple skins and you can put them in a bucket. Wow. <laughs> I don't I don't really know why they added this, but you know, more mobs, more content. Who's going to say no? The axolotl can also it looks like be tamed. I don't know how exactly it works, but once you befriend them, they will follow you around in the water. So basically like a sea dog. And the last mob that they added was actually a community vote Three mobs were suggested, two of them. The community was like, no, you're an idiot, Mojang. Why would you add that? The two that got voted out were the Moo Bloom, which is an aesthetically appealing mob. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wanted it, uh, but then I jumped on the bandwagon because the Glow Squid won. And then there was also the Ice Oliger, which was basically an ice mage. You know, that seems pretty difficult. Everyone's like, nah, I think we want passive Glow Squid. I really think the Moo Bloom got shut down is because the Mooshroom, we already have it. I think they should just throw in the Moo Bloom anyway, just cause it's like, it's a yellow cow. Like how can you say no? There's gonna be mods. People are gonna put it in anyway. The last thing I wanna talk about is archeology, span which is probably the last thing I expected them to announce in this update. You can sweep away gravel and dirt with the new brush item. And your job is to find hidden relics within these blocks. I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe you can literally stop halfway and make half slabs or quarter slabs or one eighth slabs. That's what it really looks like to me. But inside you can find ceramic shards, diamonds, and even emeralds. You can also make clay pots and put the ceramic shards on the pots and decorate them how you wish. Uh, it's kind of a passive thing. It's not really how you're gonna find a lot of your good loot, but it is definitely something cool for sure. And that is basically all the information that we have on the update right now and all the footage. And also it's not coming out until summer 2021, which sounds like a really long time away because it is It's like nine months. It's important for us to do it right. It's like we don't want to rush it. But hopefully we get a whole bunch more information before then. I assume this isn't everything. If it was, I'd be very disappointed. Log.zip already recreated everything you told them in like five hours. I don't know how he did it. <laughs> But yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys are most excited for and what you think they might add. I think there needs to be more stuff with the cliffs. We need more cliff stuff. Hang glider. I don't know. There's a lot of verticality in Minecraft now because of that. I know we have the Electra, but the Electra is really hard. You got to beat the whole game to get it. I don't know. I'm just spitballing. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.